The Greensboro Police Department has more than 100 vacancies. The city is considering raising starting pay to recruit new officers. The department is hosting a hiring event tomorrow, and it's hoping to see at least 100 people come through the doors. I think this is truly the best job, period, in all of the world. After working in law enforcement for more than two decades, Lieutenant Corey Flowers is still able to say he loves what he does. This is the best career. That's why he's encouraging other men and women to consider joining the Greensboro Police Department. Folks that are looking to, they have a heart to serve, they have a heart to serve their city and to make it better, to put themselves often as the thin dividing line between chaos and, and civil society, that's the kind of people we're trying to find. Police departments all across the nation are facing vacancy issues right now, and Greensboro is no different. We are sitting at about 17% vacancies right now. We were about 110, 115 officers short of our almost 700 authorized strength. Um, and so we want to fill, constantly fill our two police academies each year in an effort to, to fill some of those vacancies. Just last week, Greensboro City Council voted 7-2 to two to ask the city manager to find funds in the upcoming budget to raise Greensboro police officers starting salaries to $57,000. We're the third largest agency in the state, and at this point, we're, we're, we're a little bit behind on the starting salary. And so we're hoping that some of these developments help them to make their promise that they've already made and vote a reality for our people. The entire public safety training facility, which includes classrooms and indoor gun range and gyms, will be open to tour. And right now, the department is working to recruit for its September Police Academy. The hiring event is tomorrow from 5.30 p.m. until 8 p.m. at the Public Safety Training Facility on North Church Street.